Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Main VR here, bringing you another Skyrim video. And this is a continuation of from where I left off last time in my hour. And I just want to continue on with that. Here. All right, if you guys remember, last I was on this mission to stop these nightmares. All Be right. Careful. We're certain to find more of the awakened within. So we're following this guy here. Right, and he's supposed to take us through these these chambers and and help us out and well, you know, guide us to what we need to do. By her benevolence, you shall not stop us. Where? Destroy them. Stop them. All right. What are you doing? I don't know why in I'm like this dude is almost dead like how did he get back energy and just kills me like that you know I was really pissed about that right so now I have to do this shit all over again. You know, I wasn't really happy about that because, first of all, to me, it just didn't really feel that exciting, and and I was kind of hoping to just move through this area. Now, um, I guess I need to put some more mod on because I thought the the coloring in this was a little blah. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for my next playthrough: is add some more mods on and see if I can get the graphics to just. It just needs to be more, you know what I mean? Not so much like highly more detail, but just more color to it. I think would have been just a phenomenal thing. Let them dudes fight it out while I get my energy back. Alright, see? So that time the my strategy seemed to have worked. But there was like two or three more people the last time. I'm like, what the hell happened to them? Yeah, once again, I, I just flipped through, but I never even read it. I don't, honestly, I just, I don't play a video game to read books, so. Dude, I barely read books in, in my day-to-day -day life. I just want the experience, actually. Now, this library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now, look at it. Almost everything's been burned. Right? It I looks like the tome we need is still intact. It looks like trash in there, you know? And one thing, though, I would say playing this in VR, like, it's stop. so atmospheric. You know what I mean? Like, all the. the surrounding, the sounds, everything along that line. It's like. phenomenal. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done, I have to say. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called The Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Alright, so now we're looking for this book. Right, and so I'll go in and I'll find a book. It's not really much to it, and it just tells us what we need to do next. Now, what I want to talk about, you know, I mean, because there's going to be a lot of people that are like looking at me and they're like, hey, uh, you could have just played that on your screen and not be in VR because you aren't moving around. Um, yes, 
and that's just how I like to play in VR. I don't want to to do that extra moving around crappy stuff that you know seems to be what most people want and you know and and granted to them they that's what they love and i want people to do what they love in vr so all i want is for people to stop telling me how i need to get up and do what they think i should do in order to have fun in vr that's it that's all that's the only thing that i want different now one of the things that I would move my arms around a lot more, but my left yes, my hand. Son. What is it I can help with? Let me take a look. More will be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Verminas Torpor. All right, this is the point I'm kind of like, man, I wish we just move things along and get it done and over with in this part, you know. Oh, yeah, back to one of the things, you know, my left hand controls the, how, which direction forward yes. is in. The Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Yeah, and that just doesn't... Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. Just convenient, isn't that? He can't drink it. I can. What if I get poisoned? I think this dude is setting me up. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. So, what I wanted to get back to, right? And I know, you know, those of you guys that sit back and watch me, Right, they, you guys always know that um, I'm always talking about, you know, settings for a seated VR gamer. And I will not stop on this until developers start respecting the seated VR gamer and stop making everything with solely room scale in mind. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of games really does not lend itself to room scale and trying to force it into it is what has been pigeonholed in VR. Alright, so here we get to another fight scene. And I, I figured out I, I want to start taking out the magic users first because they seem to be the one that do the most damage to me. Alright, so Took out the magic user, and now it's time to get the money and stuff off them. Yeah, I don't want that. I was trying to keep my inventory low because of the fact that I don't want the, um... I just don't want the... You know, when when you get too much, instead of the same inventory full, it weighs you down. So you start to move really slow. I hate that mechanic. It's one of the things that really stopped me from playing Skyrim the last time. And I, I didn't get too far. But I'm probably going to play more to through it now that it's in VR. Because I can take my time and just kind of stroll through it. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get it over and down when I know I won't be playing this game for 200 hours or anything like that. You know, I'm just going to focus mostly on once I'm leveled up to just kind of go through the story and just beat that. I like stories, you know. small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor should be in a tall bottle with... If you find it, bring it. 
Yeah, I'm like, shut up, dude. I just want the. I just want to make some money here. Me. All right, so I'm running around collecting stuff for money. Because not, you know, I'm collecting money and I'm planning to sell all the crap that I have right now as I level up my character because I want, I want to, you know, I mean, once I finally is fully leveled, I can get some really sweet gear. Like I said, trying to keep my inventory low. Now, if you're wondering why don't I have like a sword or something like that, it's because it's just, for me, it's just not fun yes, my swinging son. my arm around What like is it that. I can help with? I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, but I might just do I'm it for once or twice, you know. You need to guard us the rest of the way. Drake. Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation. But I promise you that it works. All right. Let's continue. We still have much to do. Yep, so we're moving on. I'm going to drink this bottle. And we're gonna just get this in and the whole time I'm thinking like honestly what I'm thinking is this is boring but I just want to get it over with so we can get to the combat I want to get to killing things you know the orcs have breached the inner sanctum brother Varen we must hold we can't allow the skull to fall into their hands but nice little scene here no more than a handful of us remain brother then we have no choice the miasma must be released the miasma, but brother, we have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Our lives Agreed to the death. What? Be done. Farewell, Good thing this is like a flashback or something, because I'd have told them niggas no. I'm not giving my life for nothing. Alright, so So this is a pretty good thing, you know what I mean? That um like VR movie, you know, and stuff like that. This is the way they should kind of do, not every scene, but like some scenes where it's kind of like you, like if there's a big battle going on, you kind of lead them down this battle. And then when they get to the main character, then they, they kind of get frozen to a spot to watch the fight go on. And then, you know what I mean, then kind of like move things along. I think something like that done in a in a, i think vr shouldn't be live action right now it should just be in animation where they can use game engines in order to do it. Oh, 
Oh man, they're really getting it on too, right? This is your last mistake. So I decided to go on ahead, even though I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do there. Didn't pay attention to her or him. No. You think you stand a chance? Must have scared him off. Okay, so the button mapping in this game is atrocious. It, it 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 really really is. Like having your um shout to the grip button is a, a, a really idiotic thing that Bethesda did and Time for Oh man, yeah, I keep forgetting at this point I kinda ended up back here, so I think it's it's a good point to kind of just fast forward a little bit, you know? So, we're just going to speed things up a little bit during this point, right? We're just going to move it along because you guys already see me going through this whole thing here. And it literally made no sense to keep it going, alright? So, I just kind of breeze through this whole section here uh, speed through it all and and just get us back to where we were so we can get things going on a, on a consistent basis all right and I, you know I figured you guys didn't want to see me keep playing through the same section over and over and over I'm trying to be a little bit um, entertaining to you guys in in a sense and um, and so um, as I'm doing this, I'm hoping for some feedback on whether or not you think it was a good thing for me to do this. And, you know, give me some pointers on maybe what I can do to make this a better channel for you guys. So now that this little scene that I'm kind of like sped everything up for right now is coming to an end, I am now going to just bring us back to where we were. Right, so once again, still following this dude, and where in this time I brought him in instead of going all on my own, you know. So, and then I remember there's another guy someplace. Uh, I want to make sure that guy, since he was on the ground the last time I walked past people thinking they were dead, they turned out to you know come back and get me. Yeah. I don't know. All right, good. Look at that. I'm just going to do my collection of things here. Get all that I need. Oh, that's our guy right there. For a moment, I was about to burn him. Now, I do like the way they have the inventory thing set up. You know, it's so gamey. You know what I mean? So I, I love that. I love having my HUD. I love having the, the gamey feel to this whole thing um you know because the end of the game day it's a video game you know what i mean i mean i'm not playing a real life event i'm playing a video game the word playing kind of um you know shows that off yeah i think this dude beats me
Right? I see, I told you. I think this guy beats me right now. So. I did kind of start to do a little bit better with um, saving stuff so I can keep things moving along here. So once again, I just decided I am going to speed things along to kind of save you guys the hassle of watching me redo this over and over and over. All right, so we're gonna just blaze on through this scene, and and anytime I die and have to redo something over, I figured I'll just blaze on through it again, so you guys don't have to put up with it. Now, I I don't mean I cut it out completely because I wanted to kind of still get show you guys this full thing of this hour that I was in um, Skyrim for. You know, I'm gonna start treating my VR stuff kind of like a trip like I take a trip to this universe or that universe or something along the lines and then tell you how it makes me feel all right so back to this warrior I decided to get in a little bit more on it run away from him here get myself get my energy back get my level up They're trying to back up in VR. It's a little bit pain in the butt. Because I wasn't really sure where I should be at. Yes, I am starting to save more so we don't have to keep replaying these things over and over. You know, kind of keep it a lot shorter than the last time that it is because once again I'm a game I'm dying so it's it is what it is I'm only what a level four character right now so don't expect me to be all powerful doing all kinds of crazy things just yet So, back to my scavenge hunt here as I just kind of slowly steal I take as much things as I can. Before my dude can't move anymore, you know. And they don't even give you like a warning type of thing to show you like you're 99% of whatever, you know. I want it all, people. I want it all. You're like, what the hell is he aiming at? He was like so high, you know? I just kind of want this to move along right about now, you know? I just want it to just be over with. Because it, it's... I don't know. I guess I've gotten used to, like, my shooters in VR, which is just fast pace, fast pace, fast pace, to now all of a sudden playing this role playing. And I'm um, just a little... I guess it will get better. I know it will get better as I get to the point where my character is, like, mega powerful.
I guess because I never really played Skyrim, I don't have this endearing love for it. And I mean, I owned it. I just never really got into it too much. Um, I really, really liked Elder Scroll Online more so than I liked Skyrim. So I'm hoping that maybe that's one of the reasons why I bought Skyrim in the first place is maybe Bethesda would see, you know, there's some money in VR and they will port Elder Scroll also onto it. I'm, I'm letting those guys take each other down a little bit. Because I ran out of magic, so I figured might as well break out the swords. So one of the things that I found out is like swinging the sword, not so much fun. So I just kind of do a stabbing motion with it because, you know, um, like swinging the sword and not getting any feedback from it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't, it really pulls me out of the whole thing. But I figured like a stabbing motion, like stabbing something and, and um, it's easy to push in, pull out, push in, pull out. And I'm just saying that these are extremely sharp blades that allow me to do it this quickly and easily. And so now without the friction of getting no impact when swinging the sword into just the stabbing motion made I me easier to accept this. Baron and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? I don't know, dude. I don't care. Give me my. I just want my. Um, I don't know. I just want my my experience for this. I want to keep moving on. Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First. An incantation to remove the barrier. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hunger. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Right. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Right, so now I'm kind of I, I. It's weird because I expect to him to turn on me, so I'm waiting to see what happens here. You know. I'm watching it and watching it, I'm like, all right, come on, dude. Turn on me so I can kill you. I don't want to just kill you for no reason. Trying to be a good guy here. Got myself all prepped up, ready to go here. Cause man, I just want to kill you. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. 
This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I believe I will. I'd constructed a meager shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. You go but for instead, it, dude. I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. <coughs> Alright, so now I gotta find my way out of this damn labyrinth. Which wasn't really that hard, you know what I mean? Now that you had that barrier down, it just seems to kind of just get you right out. What I was trying to do is see if I can, you know, fast travel and get myself out of here quickly, but no, it just wouldn't let me. I guess when I was inside something. You effers, you just won't let me get what I want, and I want it. Oh, so I had to find a new mission. And get my ass out of here. Well, while I work on getting my butt out of here, it seems like a great spot to end this today. So thanks you guys for joining me. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And even if you don't like the video, why don't you hit that thumbs down button. And then tell me what it is that you hope for me to change. Because like I said, I'm hoping to build this channel and I'm hoping to make it a great one for you guys out there so please 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 go ahead and do that hit that like button or hit that unlike button but at least tell me what it is that you like or dislike about what I'm doing and how I can make this better for you guys alright thanks for joining me hopefully you have a great one alright thanks